So I've come down to Peckham today because I, I wanted to check out this new initiative and it's actually a, an ongoing project to build a youth centre. So something in the middle of Peckham, right on the high street, something that's going to be really, really good and I think it's going to help a lot of young people in this area. So let's check it out. Hi. Hi, Hi my name is David. Hi, David. This is the Peckham Chrissy. Help Centre. Nice to meet you, Chrissy. You too. We're going to go upstairs to see our new youth centre that's going to be built very soon. Okay, let's, let's have a tour. So where we're standing right now is going to be our new youth centre. I can see you're really excited about it as well. I really am. Oh. Because it's going to be a big opportunity. You're going to have a capacity of 50 to 60 youths in here all at one time. Yeah. And it's going to be very beneficial to this area. Where we're standing right now, it's going to be an open space. Mm -hmm. So it's going to be a little study room. People come sit down, revise. Um, if there's a lot of noise at home, at least they can come here and find some space Hi. to do some work. Just to our right, it's going to be our recording studio. Wow. So we're going to have a little glass door over here. Yeah. You can enter in through this side. Inside here will be the booth itself. How did you feel when you heard about this youth centre being built here for you guys? Well, it's not just me. How did everyone feel here? Everyone was really excited because we felt that this was our opportunity to really take things to another level. Yeah. They were so excited, you know, because that, that place just used to be an empty space. Just looking at what's going to be there already, you've got the recording studio, you've mm. got the IT suit, which is going to be having Mac computers to teach them Photoshop, and you've got the little study room. It's something that's quite unique compared to other youth centres that me personally, even I have been myself. How do you think broken families and broken homes affect young people? Well, speaking from my experience, um, when you are having a, when you're suffering from a broken home, it causes you to search for love outside because you don't find it in the house. Mm. And that's what leads people to gangs. I didn't get involved in gangs because I just had this understanding that I knew that that's not the way I wanted to go. Some of my friends got involved in that. Mm -hmm. That's what leads you to um, lose the respect for women because at home you see your father doesn't respect your mother so you don't end up respecting the girls around you. Mm -hmm. That's what leads people to end up, you know, taking drugs and, and you know, finding ways to take out this emptiness that they find inside of themselves by drinking because at home all they see is just a broken family and the worst thing is that all the young generation what they want is to see the family happy. That's yeah. what they really want. I don't think anyone's gonna really wanna go to their mum and say, mum, all I want you to do is give me a hug. Mm -hmm. But that's what they really want. If you don't find the hug there and someone is willing to give you the hug outside, you're not gonna worry about who the person is. Mm -hmm. You're not gonna look at and judge the person and say, yeah, but the person's like this. As far as you're concerned, if they want to give you the hug, you're gonna receive it. I think young people get a lot of bad press and they're sort of made out to be troublemakers and stuff, but I think it's because we don't invest enough in them as well. They go through hard times at home sometimes, as you did. You know, we don't know what's going on in their, in their minds, but when there's places like this, when there's people that care about them, they can go so far. So, you know, I'm well behind this, this project here. I'm really looking forward to coming back. 